the Sundown Handicap Chase is next. Um, this is a 0 to 90, 0 to 90 non hunter as well. Um, and there's only three in it, and two of those belong to Alex Cherry. So it's Max and Yushindi Win for Alex Cherry and Romantic Liaison for Obi Wan. So a three runner race. 0 to 90 maybe. Just a little bit too low for chasers as they get off. The hunter chases are 0 to 100, so quite well, they'd be a 0 to 90. Ordinary handicap, I'm really not sure, but anyway, over it they go, and hopefully this race will get put up to 110 next year, which will make more sense as they get over to number two, and get a few more in it, although, with the way the race has been going this year, um, with a lot of horses being more, con more, more consistent, they get over to third, and not that many horses have fallen under the 100 mark, because so many have put in good performances, with probably with the smaller fields, I suppose, that we've had this year with less trainers around uh, horses have been able to get into fourth fifth and sixth places where maybe they would normally have been in 14th 15th and 16th and so the handicap marks haven't dropped as much as they would have done in previous years as they get over the railways and that's basically left us without too many horses under the hundred you win a race in the hunters you're basically out of them from then on I had a couple early on in the season that won and never been able to get back in again uh, James Shea seems to have got perfect this year getting this to a low enough level before we put them in and then they've managed to run up a sequence a couple of them but next year I would suggest and I thought it is a suggestion that they maybe move some of them at least up to 110 to attract some bigger fields because last week we were having fields of two and three and I'm pretty sure my last race today's only got a couple in as well but I get over the seventh and Max is the leader I'm not sure how many are running in Stu's Hunters but I do know one or two of those did get their ratings put up this week because there were no horses in the week. He did have a race last week as well where there were no entries at all, which is the first time that's ever happened, I believe, in Starters Orders League history. It's certainly the first time it's ever happened since I've been around. But this thing was going before me. And if it happened then I don't know about it, but it's not the sort of thing that we need really. It's Hopefully those sort of little tweaks can get sorted out the end of the season and as I've waffled my way through the first circuit Max is in the lead Romantic Liaison is second and Yushindi when he's third I'm suggesting that there's probably only Alex Cherry and Sirius 1 Obi Chill watching this uh, just the two of you um, but maybe Alex Cherry runs some races as well I think so maybe if Alex Cherry run it, ran it he probably isn't even watching it either, so it might be just you and me, Obi-Wan. So, I'll just waffle on whatever I say that you think's interesting and put it in a forum for me. That's about that. So, Max is in the lead from Romantic Liaison second, and Yushindi Wen is back in third. And, what is pretty much sad. also noticed in the forum today as well that Obi-Wan's had a few problems with some of his horses this week, not getting entered in the races, and I think that's another thing we need to look at next season is to have a little bit more of a check on what's in and what's out because I had one that didn't get put in the other week as well and it's pretty annoying when you've sat there with a pen and paper and a slide rule you can have this next one working out your entries and then when the entries do come in your boss isn't there but, uh, it is difficult because there's a lot of work to be done by a few people so we need more volunteers to do things like race running or even Maybe if you couldn't race run or anything like that or commentate, you could volunteer to be a checker or something, and then you could check that all the right horses with all the right races before they got run. Anyway, I better not say anyone be doing Gray's job and he does it too well, so we can leave him to that, I'm sure. He'd be glad of any help though as they get over the 13th and over the 14th as well, and the 15th because it's the railways and so. Alex Cherry's pair of one and two. This is probably not the right race to congratulate Alex Cherry on his first season as being the National Hunt Handicapper when it's a three horse handicap race and he's only got, he's got two of the only three runners in it. Well, I'm sure that is purely coincidence. So he's done a really good job this year and I'm not saying that just because I won the Grand National on the Whitbread either. But anyway, Max is in the lead and looks to be going well enough to stay in the lead. It'll be a quick fight double for Alex Cherry who took the last as well. Over he goes. 
mistake by romantic liaison, so there's every possibility this is going to be a 1 2 for Alex Cherry now. And Max has got to get over the last couple of fences though. And he's being chased hard now by his stable mate, and Yushimbi Wen has actually taken it up. So Yushimbi Wen's in the lead, and romantic liaison is now coming through as well. So over the final fence they go, and Yushimbi Wen has gone away, and he's going to take this, I think, running up the hill. Romantic liaison has run into second, and Max is going to have the race to a minute ago because now he's up third. So up towards the line, then Yushimbi Wen is the winner. Romantic liaison second. Max was third, and that was the commentator does a load of waffling handicap chase from Sandown Park. And there it is. We don't need the card, do we? You shouldn't you win for Alex Cherry was the winner. Romantic liaison for Obi Wan was second. And Max for Alex Cherry was third. <laughs>